Exactly. And, and Rich Swan has that in spades. I have to wonder, Nick Wayne has had a number of big matchups all around the country. Yes. He's gone into the ring with many, many ring veterans. Christopher Daniels, just for one, just yes. last week, we all know yes. about that. He's obviously, he, he studies up, he's a, he's a second generation star, but someone like Rich Swan, who's again, like I said, seen it all, done it all. Mm -hmm. I don't know, how can you even plan for that? No, I mean, he, here's, here's the thing. Uh, Veda, uh, you and I, we, we both got involved in pro wrestling at almost about the same time in the late 2000s, just about the same time Rich Swan did. Yep. Uh, you know, I know, he sure as hell knows that starting out in wrestling in perhaps 2020, 2021, 2022 is a lot different than it was yeah. back then, even considering the pandemic. Even considering that happened, the, the visibility is so much higher for these young athletes. It really is, and I think, honestly, that can be a good thing and a bad thing. Mm -hmm. It's a great thing because you're expo you're out there, you're exposed so much, maybe so much earlier, so much faster. There's a, a lot less, you know, grinding in front of nobody because your match is streaming live on fight. Right. On the other hand, all of your mistakes, all of this whole learning curve that most people get to go through in the dark, it's happening right in front of hundreds of people, thousands of people, millions of people. Absolutely. It's a but, lot of pressure. But but I'll tell you something, Nick Wayne, he's not somebody who bows under that pressure. Uh, I mean, look, look at him right here. The, the way he's got his composure against uh, Rich Swan, somebody who's been all over the world. Uh, you know, I mean, he's been all over the country in terms of the independence. He's been overseas in terms of Dragon Gate. He's been WWF, he's been Impact, he's been, you name it, he's been there. Yep. It don't matter, uh, it, it, but but Nick Wayne is coming into this matchup with with all the confidence in the world, and that's what you need to do as a young athlete in this game. Oh. Wow. Uh, back and forth here. Tit for tat. Whoa! Wow. All right. Pretty much at a draw here. Wow. I can't. Nick Wayne is 16 years old. Yeah. <laughs> what? I don't understand. When I was 16 years old. Uh, just failed my driver's license for yeah, the driver's test for the first time. Yep. Whoa. Look at that. Into the Tejetis, into the drop kick. Nick Wayne has it all put together. Rich Swan rolling to the outside. I think he's looking for some safety, but Wayne right on him. Oh, clocked him with that forearm. Whoa. Didn't get him with that first one. He Definitely clocked him with the second. And Emil, this is what you were talking about. Rich Swan was was honestly trying to flee. He was trying to get away, give himself an opening. Wayne followed right behind him. But now it's Swan back in control. Oh! And it's Swan, Rich Swan taking his time. Whoa! Whoa, Nick Wayne got out of the way of that. Oh! Face first on the floor, like and, a, like and a again, bulldog. Yeah, to reiterate, the floor is in this building. Straight up concrete. And while we wait for this match. Oh, oh, we, oh wait not, a second. No more waiting. Oh. oh! Yeah, you know what? Like, I was uh, gonna say, while we wait for this match to get back into the ring, but Rich Swan has just turned it around. Coming up later tonight, we have the first ever Wasteland death match. What the heck does that even mean? I was about to ask you that. Uh, I'm, I, I'm not privy to that intel. I'm just going to sit back and watch the chaos. Could you imagine me, MLJ, the oh. guy who's ringing out so many death matches, asking you, Veda Scott, 
what a wasteland deathmatch. Well, if you have never covered <laughs> right. one, then it definitely is the first one ever. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I'm excited to see it, though. And Rick Swan, Shock Nick waved so hard, he just kind of went scurrying to the other side of the ring. Uh-oh. And you know Rich Swan, he uh, learned how to do that under guys like Sema <laughs> over in Dragon Gate where Rich Swan spent an extensive amount of time. But you know what it's like. Nick Wayne is just, he's clutching his eye Maybe like a, a cheekbone, orbital bone. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, quick leg drop, similar to a uh, one-two-three kid. Yeah. And you got you have to watch out with a facial injury like that because it can start to, to swell up right away. It can impair your vision. Mm -hmm. Just disorient you. Rich Swan though, not letting up, not at all. Now, Swan, he's he's just right on top of Nick Wayne right here. And I, I think about this a lot, Emma, when I see a veteran like a Rich Swan being so aggressive with, with someone who's, who's a bit newer to the game like a Nick Wayne. Should someone like Nick Wayne maybe take that as a compliment? That Rich Swan knows that he can't he can't take it easy, that he can't just lay off him. I don't know. I, I, I think it means that Rich Swan really sees this as a challenge. And now Swan. Good point. Good point. Bringing out a chair here. Once again, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to climb back up on this table. I can't see anything. Whoa. Big kick there by Richie Swan. As he's I heard the Wayne. kick. I didn't need to see it. No. Oh. He's going to go all around the ring here. Uh -huh -huh. Picking up a big amount of speed here. Oh! oh! Good Lord. Pump kick with all the momentum. There goes that young man's facial features. Yeah, forget what I said before about like, oh, did he hurt his face? He hurt his face. His face is hurt. On here. He's got to get Nick Wayne back into the ring. Going to a replay right now. Shout out to the Arizona replay. Back in the ring here. Yeah. Swan. Maybe Swan can end this. Oh! Nick Wayne, though, not going. Oh! I thought Wayne maybe had an opening there. He was too slow to act on it, however. And Swan picked up on that, came rolling with that forearm, collided right with the face. Oh! Oh my, collided with the face! Oh. Nick Wayne starting to string something together here. Oh, got caught with the cutter. Swan with the rolling kick. Whoa! But wait! Wayne's not coming! Into a cover! He sat out with it, all impact. Unfortunately, he didn't have the legs over top of the shoulders of Swan. Swan able to roll his shoulder because of that. That's what happens when you just totally rely on the impact of the move. Oh! Across the ring. Beautiful kick by Swan. And now he rolls through right to the splash. There's a cover. Two and a half. Nick Wayne able to kick away. Yeah, but he's Nick Wayne clutching at his midsection. He kicked out, but he didn't exactly jump right back to his feet either. No, no, no not at all. He's still suffering the effects of everything that Rick Swan has done to him thus far. Oh! Or perhaps he was playing possum. 
Stop with a slap to the face and another. Whoa, rolls over the top. Beautiful fisherman suplex. No, still not enough. And Nick Wayne really needs to grab hold of any momentum he can get here. He's created an opening. I think he needs to capitalize on it right now. Pulling Swan back up to his feet. Ooh, a left hand out of Nick Wayne. Oh. Oh. I don't think I realize this young man is a southpaw. I like him more now. Left-handers got to stick together. Oh! I mean, I've been down with Swan since almost day one of his uh, wrestling career. But, but you, you you can't help but get on board exactly. someone like a Nick Wayne. Just what a good kid. It reminds me a lot of Swan when he was young, honestly. Just going out and getting it. He's getting something right now. Oh! <laughs> But he'll give it back, let me tell you. Oh, they're just going back and forth. Just shot for shot. Little extra leap on that forearm by Wayne, but Swan fires right back. Super kick through the head, but Wayne fires right back with one of his own. Oh. Swan with the handspring cutter, connected. And he follows it up. No, but he got caught. Oh, but Nick Wayne, he fell the wrong way. Yeah. Rich Swan is down. He's been down. MLJ, he's been down for at least a three count. Yeah. I think Nick Wayne could have had this one. Just imagine if he just fell the other way. If he fell to his right instead of his left, Nick Wayne could have had this thing. But that's again, maybe that's 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 experience. That's something that you that's instinct. That's something your body develops over time. Yeah, maybe Nick, Nick Wayne, Wayne in four years wouldn't have made that mistake. Right, right. He, he just doesn't have that like spidey sense quite yet. Whoa. Oh, or at least that level. But look at Swan again with that three hit combo. Just unloading. Oh, he went low. Swan went low with the kick. That time he nailed. Nailed Nick Wayne right in the head. And Swan lining it up. Spinning back kick to the temple. Good night. And I think Nick Wayne inadvertently fell into exactly the right position or wrong position if you're Nick Wayne. Wait, what's this? Swan, 450. Off connect. the middle. And what? Oh, you know what? Maybe Swan should have went all the way up yeah. top. Middle rope 450 just blows my mind every time that the athleticism that it takes to get that full rotation and a half from the middle rope. You barely have any room with you every time. I'm just amazed. Yeah, you, you, there's a high risk of clipping your heels against that, that top rope oh. on the way up. Nick Wayne rolling through. Swan doubled over. Wow, wow, no. Like a springboard code red, but no. Into the backbreaker. Oh, on top of Swan's head. Code there it red. Is. One. And Nick Wayne, he's gonna get. Oh, oh. He does not get the win. Imagine if he beat somebody like Nick, like like Rich Swan. Yeah. Oh, what's going on here? Wayne. Oh, Swan put the brakes. And now it's Rich Swan on fire. Oh, man. He's starting to climb again. Oh, he went for a, like a Phoenix splash yeah. off of the middle. Nick Wayne cutter. out of the way into the cutter. That connected. One, two, three. That Whoa! is it. Nick Wayne. Wayne. Here is your winner. That's it. Nick Wayne 
capping off an incredible week, has just beaten Rich Swan. Not the outcome wow. I expected at all, and I don't think it was the outcome Rich Swan ex expected, but if you didn't understand that Nick Wayne is a real force, is a real threat, you definitely understand it now. Wow. And look at this, Nick Wayne extending his hand. And the crowd here chanting for both Wayne and Swan, very deserved. You gotta know Nick Wayne is somebody who respects and looks up to Rich Swan and uh, genuinely appreciates this moment. He's not going to uh, forget about this win anytime soon. This is a, a catapulting moment.